What's going on, YouTube? Tune to the third episode of the Great Window Show. I got my dog, Rio, the young OG. My baby. Hey, Rio, nigga, you know what's going on. You feel me? We bumped into him yesterday. Cool dude, we chopped it up. Really, I was I was already hollering him from the beginning. You feel me? I hit the nigga in the DM. I like, shit, come on. With you. you feel me? After the first episode dropped. I knew he had saw it or heard about it by then. You feel me? My shit been going crazy. So I reached out to him. You feel me? He hit me back. Like, how you feel me? We go. We gonna set it up. Caught him in the mall yesterday, put him on the spot. He couldn't turn he couldn't turn me down. So you feel me? I'm like, I wasn't leaving until you feel me. He was like, let's set up a date. You feel me? I wasn't I was gonna press the issue on him. Really though, we really supposed to be had did one. You feel me, Destin? I damn near supposed to be the first nigga on that. Bitch. Look, I told Destin, you got that like Destin. You feel me, Destin? I know you see it, this. You feel me? We on you. We both on you. you feel yeah. me? So, as far as far as just you feel me, a little background about you. You feel me? How you grew up? Where you, what school you went to? You feel me? Where you stomped that around here? You feel me? Let the people know. All right. Uh, before I say anything, you know I got to free big girl. You know Period. Free peasy. Yeah, but uh, I'm from, I, I, shit, I grew up, I really was never in no set hood, I used to, I lived everywhere. You bounced around? I bounced around, I, uh, I went to damn near every school except Hammond. Hammond and Carmen and shit like that. Yeah. I you, went to all the hood schools. You, you touched all the fun schools. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I really, Northern was my main school, bro. Right. Northside? Yeah. Most of the area I used to live the most, and shit. We lived up here the, probably the most time, so I went to North the most of my life. Right. I fuck around and went to Troy Central. Damn, you got, oh, how old is you? I'm 25. A nigga say Central, it made me feel old. I, I, I yeah. wanted to go to Central, but then Happy Jack put all down, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. Stay, stay, I was a hammy nigga, you feel me? Little line, you feel me? It's cool, <laughs> though. You feel me playing it right? You feel me? So, growing up, how, how was it for you? You feel me? Like, uh, I ain't gonna say it was, it was, it was straight, bro, I was, I ain't, I mean. It was regular. I, it was regular, I, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst, you feel me? Most definitely, most definitely. I most made definitely. a way out of, I, that shit worked out. Fact, you mean, you had both your parents in your life? No. Mom and dudes? Yeah, my mama raised on. My daddy was running the streets a lot, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, it's a lot of shit behind that. Um, right. My mama raised me though. So you was you was a mama's boy? No cap. Yeah. I am too. Oh, yeah. exactly. But that's how I be though, you feel me? When when you in that, when you in a situation like that where he around, but he ain't really around, you feel me, you just for the mom do. Yeah. You feel me? You ain't playing no sports growing up? Yeah. I tried to play football for like I think I played football and basketball for like a week probably. A week? Each one. <laughs> I couldn't do that motherfucking head. Conditioning? Yeah. Ah, you couldn't make it to conditioning? I couldn't make that shit, man. I ain't like it. Then I, when I played football, I ain't like it. They ain't never passed me the ball, so I stopped playing. What position they had you football? Uh, I was a motherfucking wide receiver, I think. You was a wide receiver? Yeah. Hey, I was. This was in elementary. So you kind of tall a little bit? Yeah, I was big. I was always tall and kind of bigger. That means kind of fast to have that wide receiver. Yeah, I was fast, but I just really was lazy, so it wasn't. It wasn't because it wasn't yeah. from the, 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 the juice and no weed and nothing like that back then. Yeah, I was smoking weed. You was smoking weed back then. Yeah. Damn, my nigga, how old you? I bro? got kicked out of the door rider. I was going to door rider. I got called some weed. You got called some weed at door rider? Yeah, man. For everybody who don't know, door rider is elementary school. How <laughs> old uh, was you when you had that? I probably was about eleven. Man. Well, you had that bag at eleven. I had like twelve nickel bags on me. Oh, so I you showed the nigga and he told on me. That happened to me too. It happened with I had a pocket knife. I was in second grade with a pocket knife. White boy told on me. Crazy. That's real flesh. Crazy for real. So yeah, you played football for a week. You hooped for a week. Yeah. And then it was just I'm <laughs> regular. It was just like I'm just gonna keep. I ain't I ain't never liked sports, bro. Like You went into sports, you just yeah. trying to do it just to I just really my mama wanted me to do it. Type oh, of okay. Shit. okay. So I just did the shit, but I never liked sports. I right. never watched basketball, football, none of that shit. I used right. to just You were just like or, Yeah, I liked the other shit. I was fucked up as a kid, but that's how I be you can be part of your environment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh so you said elementary, football, basketball. Alright, growing up some more, go fast for a little bit. You did you ever have you ever had a job? Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a Thousand fucking jobs, right? Oh God, you had more jobs than me. 
Probably. I probably did on the real, but I worked at Cedar Point. I, I know probably worked crazy. at Erie Factory in Brighton and Howe and all that dumb shit. I worked at Chrysler. Damn. I don't motherfucking had I don't have some jobs. Why you quit working at Chrysler? Uh, it was really, I used to drive down there and shit. Mm -hmm. Winter time, winter time. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't had no car though, so I was making the best way I could, and I fuck around. It was late, like five minutes, man. They, they, in my probationary period, the first time. Really go. And, uh, one time. Damn, that's crazy. That shit kind of made me not want to work anymore. I'm like, fuck this. That was your last job. No, uh, yeah. Your very last job, man. Before everything, before the rap, rap, the rap got to kick it off. Shit, I just had a job like <laughs> four weeks ago. For real, nigga. For real? Shit. But that was only because uh, I'm on Tether and shit, and that was one of my conditions. They yeah, I need a job. Have a job. Yeah. Where was that at? at uh, this little uh, roofing company. I was just walking around knocking on people's doors and shit. Oh, yeah, like, like trying to get them to sign yeah, up? I hate niggas sign. like you. I hate niggas like you, bro. Man, man bro, that shit do not come to my crib, bro. <laughs> if you a roofing nigga or if you want niggas selling cable, bro, do not come to my crib. We're not going to lie. Look at me, though, bro. Would you, if you was a white motherfucker, would you? I wouldn't even open the door. Exactly. I'm not opening the door, period. I'm going to look and see who it is, bro. I ain't going to lie. If you think like you, I probably would have just chopped it up with you. Like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Yeah. Knocking on my door, ask me, do I want a new roof? Yeah, that shit ain't work out, bro. But, uh. So. You feel me? It's, uh, let's just jump into it right quick. As far as the, the tether situation, how long you'll be on that? Is it like a set period of time? Yeah, no, I ain't. Uh, I ain't get sentenced to tether. That's what a lot of people think. Like I got sentenced to tether, and I'm right. They, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting you. a fed case, and they put me up. I got a bond. Damn. And then when they gave me a bond, they I put just me on fed tether. Case. Yeah, that type of shit. Yeah. I just, they put me on tether. They, they really want me to be on tether. Till I finish yeah. everything, but I'm gonna try to get this bitch took off. I, I ain't violated, but then I've been doing everything they asked me to do. So, right. I so, as going. far as you feel me with you got the music thing going on and being on tether, how hard is that for you? You know what I'm saying? It's probably like a lot of things you gotta, you feel me, you gotta lead the career to accomplish. Mostly, I mean, you if you doing it though, I, I commend you hats off to you because you're doing it. Like a nigga like me, real shit, if I was in your position, they put me on tether. I would have been like, fuck it. Yeah. That's what a lot of niggas, and that's what a lot of niggas would have been like, you feel me? Because that's an obstacle. A lot of niggas can't get through the obstacle. You feel me? So, if you, like, if you ask the people that be around me every day, I ain't stressed over this shit, really, bro. I ain't, like, most niggas be going through it when they on tether. You can tell. Like, bro, I be forgetting I'm on tether sometimes till I know I can't leave, like, when I want to. Right. But, I just be working, bro. I just I brought the booth to the crib and I just work, bro. Like I feel like they can't really, they can slow shit down. They, they can't, can't stop shit. nothing. They can't stop nothing. Yeah. Period. You can't stop nothing. Cause you been doing like you said, you got the studio set up right here. You feel me? Every, every, you crazy? Cause every music video you done dropped like ten music videos in the past two months. Facts. More than that, for real. Facts. Cause I was flipping through it. I'm like, damn. I was trying to find uh, what's yeah. the song you put out? Like nine months ago, that went crazy. That fucking round. No, it went right before that. Shit talking. Shit talking. Yeah. I wasn't on Tinder then. That's what I'm saying. I, that's when I was trying to find. Yeah. I'm like, damn, all these. And then, you feel me? I'm like, all these was in the past two months. You feel me? I knew he was on Tether. So I'm like, this nigga been shooting all these videos and all these different scenes. I'm finna shoot one in a minute. For real? Yeah. I gotta be in it. I ain't stopping working on that. I'm talking about it. This shit ain't stop. Because look, it's the day. I shot a video with TC mm -hmm. like a month ago. Shit talking part three. That bitch got a half a million views and I'm at home. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't left the period. Right? Cause it's you. So I feel like, I mean, videos mean a lot, but it ain't mean really. The, when you talking that shit, they no. just want to see a vision. They just want to see your face Fact. when you talking. It don't matter where you at, bro. Fact. So I'm, like the same thing I had Quavers. Um, with somebody who rapping, do you feel like music videos is important? Yeah, they is. Cause I, I'm a nigga that that like music, and I used to listen to a lot of music. I still do, but when you when you like an artist, you want to kind of see a video yeah. to that shit. Oh, definitely, oh, definitely. And at first, I ain't had that many videos, and people used to tell me like, "Bro, drop more videos." I really because you probably got heavy songs that didn't got yeah. lost in the yeah. in the clouds because sure. it, it wasn't no video behind it. How, uh, how long ago did you shoot your first? Matter of fact, I saw the first uh, video. How long ago was that? My first, 
You had the hoodie wrapped around like a nut. Man, <laughs> I forgot about that. That was, uh, what was that, like 2015? 2016, it was somewhere. It was like three, four years so ago. So that was the first? First we, video I ever like, shot. We gonna shoot. I didn't even want to show my face in that bitch. It was so much shit going on. I'm like, I, back then, I ain't even fuck about that shit. I'm like, bro. But niggas really just pressed me to shoot the video. Like, I, my niggas was shooting videos with me on the sun. And they had just cut it after they part when my yeah. part come in. Because I wouldn't... I wouldn't, I ain't give a fuck about that shit, bro. I'm like, I ain't trying to, I ain't like attention, you feel me? Right. But, all right, so, you kind of nigga like me, like, you feel me, with a, with a situation like this that you in, you don't like attention, how you deal with it? Oh, no, uh. You kind of embrace it. Yeah, because, I mean, I ain't scared of the attention. I just, really, I was, a lot of street shit was going on, so I ain't. Right. Like, but, Try to I'm an entertainer way. now, so it is what it is. Like, nah, I'm from a show, right? You know it's from business. That, I like cool. being around people, like on, not around people, like but like on stages, and I like that shit. No, in the ambiance, yeah, it's That's cool. And then another thing, the um, the song that I took down, you had a couple songs took down. How many songs you had took down? Uh, really, just two that didn't get put back up. Right. High Tech and Perkins says video. Yeah. Because I uh, killed the federal agent in the video. So they just play that shit in court and try to say I was a menace, but it's a fucking video. Right. That's nuts. Yeah, I got that to the down because they, they say I wasn't giving a good image. Then that fucking round video, my lawyer called me one day and she, she like, they finna try to revoke your bond for this video because the shit I was saying in it because I wasn't doing shit wrong. Right. It was so crazy. First, they said I was pretending to smoke weed because I was smoking a black. I'm like, what the fuck? You got some big ass fingers. They can't see the tip. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I, like I said, all you got to do is drug test me. You know what I'm saying? You, you would have passed it. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I took it down, though, because at the time, I'm like, I'm not going to go to jail for no fucking people. Right. Then I, I ain't never put it back up because they kind of pressed the issue on that bitch. Right. And that song was the crack. That's really the song. I know that's the song that turned me out. No homo, no homo. That's the song that really put me on. You feel me? A lot of people. Cause I, and it's so crazy because I'm listening to it. It's hard. You feel me? And um, the one part that, just like this, that, that made me realize it was a crazy in the booth was when you did the countdown. <laughs> the damn. Well, how, 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 what's the 12 part? I know the rest. I, just, I can't remember how the 12 go. What the uh, countdown? When you was like, uh, let my phone in the car, missed 11 plays. Yeah, I, I said, I said somebody about 12 a drink, and I said, let my phone in the car, and missed 11 plays. You don't even fucking remember. Oh, I was doing so much music. Oh, yeah, yeah, real smoke and fuck around, spent 10 in the house of bank. Just cooked the nine piece at Granny Crib in our house state. Eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, four, four, three. I gave you niggas time to do your thing. Nah, it's O V. That's yeah. not, bro. That's what I was like. Damn, this nigga. Yeah. And that's one thing, bro. Have you always been like, 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 been able to put the words in like that? Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Your shit, your bars was like some Lil Wayne shit. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Crazy. Like Lil Wayne, he he probably got some some crazy ass bars. I still ain't even caught yet. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I didn't play like like me and my drink. That's my my favorite Lil Wayne yeah. song. You feel me? So I was playing the other day. And I'm like, damn. He said that, you feel me, just putting it together, like, that's, I really be having this, like, one, and that's one thing about you, I think that's why you, you keep so, so much, your, your buzz growing so much, because people gotta keep listening to you, and your shit stick, like, once I heard that song, because I ain't gonna lie, I hated you when you was talking about all that dying shit, like, I just died off a of 12 and drank, yeah. I'm like, man, I don't wanna, you feel me, that wasn't what I was into, yeah. but now the nigga, like, damn, like, he just love to get high, yeah, if you drink lean, man, if you ever drunk activist, I know I drank it twice. You understand? Like, I'm talking about like was a diehard fan for it. I like, know. Uh, I was damn near I was the rock. That's the one. I salute about. any nigga who really sibling on a daily basis because you got to be getting some money. Yeah, you got to have some pay. But that's a rich nigga. That's, that's a rich nigga drugs. That's why I stopped today. I st I'm cheap as hell. Bro. I started drinking lean brand shoes free. Nigga, act was free. That's how much you drinking that. Twelve fifty a line. Yeah. How, what made you? All right, going before you. I mean, cut you off. But I, what made you just be like, how, what got you into the lean crate? Like, who? You feel My me? My granddaddy. Your granddaddy was sipping drink. Yeah, man. Nigga, at first he ain't know I was drinking. You feel me? He used to sell me the drink. Because I'm telling him I'm selling. I'm like, let me buy from you. I'm going to make some money. Woo woo. 
and he used to sell me the drink. Then one day, nigga, I, I took him to get his drink, his script. And he gave me some. He like, drink that shit right now if you're a lean drinker. I'm like, hell, because I like pouring my lean up. He was trying to drink straight. Yeah, he drink lean straight. He ain't straight down to that. He go, do you like that? He like, get that bitch. I'm like, he gave me two ounces, bro. It made me drink them bitches, bro. So that's why, like, in the, um, one time for Louis Ray, you, in the Louis Ray, uh, I think he had some like, like shit talking, and you was in, and you kept in the, you kept in the raw. So that's just how you is. I don't do it all the time, but, but you would do I'm it. Feeling good, I hit that bitch raw. I kiss that motherfucker. Bro. You a bad motherfucker, bro. Yeah, yeah. How much you think you spent all together on drink? <laughs> Honestly, in the beginning. I was drinking for free because I used to right. buy the lean from people for the low, sell it for the high, and the extras I drink was free. Oh, he was fucking niggas up. Just all right, before I don't keep thinking about that. Just imagine if he would have really sold all that shit. Oh no. I ain't gonna cap, bro. At least five hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars. That's probably at the low end, cause this shit oh, is serious. A thousand a pint of thousand dollars, bro. Boy, you crazy. A couple years yeah. ago, pint was shit. Oh. Four, five hundred. So right. It was that shit wasn't nothing. Like nine days, the shit so expensive. Like so expensive. Like now it ain't like I don't drink lean now too. Right. I don't drink lean. Of course. You, you know just said you passed the motherfucking. Any nigga need a job? Hit up Rio. My nigga selling piss. Yeah, I'm selling piss, nigga. Selling piss. Line. One. I need one twenty five. You bumping to me one twenty five. I need my extras too. Yeah. But, uh, I'm motherfucking. Nine days though, that shit expensive, bro. I'm trying to act like eighty five hundred. It's really still some acting around though. Hell yeah. Don't never think it's not. <laughs> and look, not that fake shit. It ain't no new act around. If it's some act around, it's outdated. Right. You know I mean? But it's still drinkable. Bro. So you damn near like a lean god, bro. Yeah, we we could go for hours about this lean shit, bro. Like you can't. I, I could smell it. Like nigga, I could, yeah. You ain't no real drinker if you don't smell the lean before you buy it or nothing. Like, a lot of niggas don't even know what lean smell like, bro. This is Lean Tinsler with Rio. New episode coming soon. We yeah. just gonna sit down and we gonna have somebody new and y'all talk about lean. Yeah. This shit real. So, your granddad got addicted, got you addicted to the drink. You feel me? Did, what effects did lean have on you? Like, cause I ain't gonna lie, when I was drinking, I used to be mad. Yeah, that shit had you grumpy as hell, moody as hell. Like I love, that's what I love. That's one of the songs I love from uh, Louis and Day Twan. That moody. I'm on six lines. I'm real moody. Yeah, like, that shit had you moody as hell, bro. Even the niggas that sit green, nigga, green, dangerous. Green, when it come to get high, it ain't a good taste and all that. But when it come to get high, that shit dangerous, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you mad, bro? Like, hey. all right. So one more thing on the lean situation. Then we gonna jump off of it. I stopped drinking that shit because it was fucking my face up. You feel me? I was, I was a pretty nigga. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have a hoe. Yeah. So, you feel me? That shit was ink. It plus with the pop. That sugar was just yeah, killing my face. Was that, like, did you ever experience some shit like that? Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the problems then. Uh, I, just, I just used to be, because, like, when, once it evolved a little bit, it was harder to find. Right. And that shit had you mad, too, when you can't find no drink, bro. And it's just like, I yeah, got tired of that shit. Like, I done got into it with niggas over that like shit. That shit, like, controlling your life, damn near. It, it do. Like, it's, 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 a, it's a form of heroin, really. A liquid form of heroin. Yeah. You know, and I ain't like being, uh, I ain't like looking for shit. Like, weed, you can find weed all day. The best weed you want to find. Most definitely. You can't find lean all day, bro. Fact. Especially the kind you want, so. Fact. So you was getting picky with that shit in there. Yeah, that shit will make you just be like, fuck this shit, bro. Facts. Another nigga who, who was heavy on the lean tip is Peasy. Oh, yeah, yeah, What, um, how did that whole relationship even come about? Uh, like I said, uh, really KD, bro. Cause Shout out to KD. <coughs> Shout out KD, man. Uh, we was going down there fucking with Dame and them and shit. Like selling them drink and all kind of shit. And we used to uh, just be chilling. And KD knew PZ. Like, right. one day he caught him and shit while we was with him. He was chopping it with him. But me and KD did a song at a document talk shit. Right. And one day I was out doing some other shit. And KD and my nigga yeah. went down there. You 
feel me, on some regular street shit. Yeah. And they just was going, listening to music, and KD let him hear the song and shit, and he like, who the fuck is this nigga? Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my nigga was with him. My nigga called me like, nigga, P, fucking with your music. Woo-woo. This is before I was really on the music shit. I, I was making music, but I ain't you here put it out. And I, uh, somebody was out, somebody showed me their Instagram, like, they was on Instagram. They're like, bro, is this you? Like, cause Peasy was listening to the song and shit. He kept playing my part. What tag you? He ain't, I ain't had no Instagram at that time. Damn. So he like, he just kept listening to my shit. I'm like, damn, that nigga fucking with it like that. So Louis ended up reaching out to him or so. Louis talked to him so because Louis had already did songs with Peasy in right. the past and shit. So he uh. Louis reached out to him. I think that's my little brother. P's wrote him like, bring that nigga down here. I want to meet him. Like, that nigga hard as hell. Mm. So I fuck around. We went down there. That's when me, Louie, and P's dropped that Can't Play song. Mm. We did a video. Yeah. Too. We dropped that bitch and that nigga. Like, we, we just locked in from that day. Because he seen how much I cared about the shit, but he seen how easy it was to me. Right. He like, bro, you got to do go. this shit, bro. You know, nigga, you know, I don't know, you know, nigga, if I tell you I like you, bro, the world don't like you. That's what he kept telling me. So he fuck around. He, he told me to make an Instagram. I made one this year. How long did you make an Instagram? It was last year in August. So you just, you barely had this shit one full year. Yeah, it's been a year. Just It's, it's probably just hitting a year. How many followers you got right now? That's on your shit. I think like 31,000. You got 31,000. Yeah. In, in, in a year. 100,000 profile visits a week. The shit, my nigga. Two million impressions on that bitch. I don't even know what that means. That means how many people it really like really saw it. Okay. But they ain't click on it. So you okay. feel me? The reach, how far your reach reach. Okay. See, I ain't know what that meant. Like a yeah. nigga just told me to go to it and see it. He told me one of my niggas from the video should be like, go see how many impressions you got. He like, go verify for a blue check, bro. You got it? <coughs> no, I ain't get a check. You get that bitch real soon for sure. Yeah, that bitch will be here soon. That bitch coming. Yeah, that's how I met P, though, bro. Just on some. He heard the music and liked it, and we, le- we linked in, you feel me? Right. Ever since that day, like, it was it was really, like, it had been thousands of times I went down there, and we wouldn't even know no music shit. We was just right. chilling. Just like, Being a real nigga. Yeah, like, that's my, that's my brother, bro. Like, that's how I look at it. Now, he a big brother I never had. Real shit. Went real shit. That's why it's always free big ghetto till he get free home. Free nigga. It's boys for life. Since you've been, um, since, well, since he's been gone, have you, have, you, have you talked to him? Yeah, I talk to him at least once a week. Once a week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. That's what's up. Glad to see glad to hear he in good spirits. I'm gonna write that nigga this week and shit. I am out. too. I'm gonna send your shit on <laughs> Real shit. Bro. Look at Free Peasy. Free that nigga, man. He a good nigga. Facts. So for him putting you in that position and, and the, the situation with Empire, is that something you can speak on or is it still going on? Yeah, we still going through the little process, but it's on the flow. It's done and sealed. Like, yeah, it's Empire. It's Boys N T slash Empire. Congratulations on that. You really be knocking it out those <coughs> that a lot of niggas been trying to do for so long. Yeah. You feel me? Like you said, you put your first song out 2016, 2015, 2016. Niggas run this bitch been rapping since 06. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? How do the how do the, how do how do shit like that make you feel? When you get you you move at this rapid pace. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't, I'm, I'm a firm believer. Uh, just being believing in yourself, really, like right. Because when I first started dropping music, like a lot of older niggas, a lot of motherfuckers didn't like it. They like, bro, what the fuck is he talking about? Man? Like, I. I liked it, my music. Right. So in the beginning, I was just dropping all my music for you to listen to and my niggas, because my niggas love this shit. Right. But I ain't know if my niggas was just liking it because they my niggas. And, right, you know, right, right. Really, just being a real nigga. nigga. This is what we going to, so niggas feel it and shit. Right. So I, uh, I just feel like, man, if you, if you believe in yourself, you're going to be consistent with the music and you're going to keep dropping. Most definitely. And the more you drop, and more people gonna see how serious you is about this shit. Most definitely. For like sure. A lot of niggas give up when they feel like 
But she ain't, ain't going. Yeah, it ain't going. Enough. You got to keep going, bro. Don't, don't let the paper affect you. I done heard niggas say, bro, I ain't got no money, so I don't. If you accessible to a booth, if you have to rap off free YouTube beats, nigga, do that shit, bro. Facts. Like, the money ain't the thing, because it's going to come if you serious enough about the shit. Facts. Just like with anything you do, if you put your mind to that shit, it's going to work. You got to be a firm believer in it, bro. So you already knew. Once it, once you knew that Rick Moe really fucked with you, you knew it wasn't no stop. Oh, yeah. Once I seen the, the, the <laughs> impact I, I wrote. A nigga tagged me in some shit from Switzerland listening to my shit, man. Damn. Niggas be DMing me from the UK and I be seeing that shit. I be like Like really once I seen that shit was hot in Cali, like niggas calling me. I done did like four or five sons with some Cali niggas. Right. But when niggas was calling me like, oh man, your shit everywhere in Cali. Like I'm like, damn, I ain't never been in California. Right. Like I ain't I ain't understand that shit. At first I thought this shit was fake, bro. I'm like, hell no, but this shit real life, bro. For real, for real. This shit real life. You really going through it. And and, and, with, and another thing that we got to talk about is the, you, and, you and Mike relationship. That's, that's my brother. Mike, my brother. Me and Mike was niggas before all this rap shit. Bro. Right. I've been knowing Mike for damn near 10 years now. Right. I was just a nigga that I, we used to kick it with. We was broke together. You right. You know what I'm saying? We used to plot on money. Like, we used to we used to always talk about it like bro like nigga mean, we buying this bitch when we, like, we buying this whole block when we motherfucking get out but we ain't know how we was gonna get on but you know we, I, I never thought it would be music you feel me right we used to just have it in our mind like bro we gonna be rich go oh, definitely the way we live we wanted a lot of shit oh definitely you gotta get it you gotta get it bro. so how um so so who started rapping first, you or Mike? Uh, Mike been rapping. Mike was rapping back when I was just. I've been rapping really damn near since I was a kid, bro. Before right. I smoked weed, me and my nigga Woody, free my nigga Woody, we used to motherfucking uh, rap on a on a uh, karaoke machine. Damn. Yeah. Put our shit on the tape and go listen to it in the car. You feel me? We was young as hell. We wasn't smoking weed or nothing. We just, just yeah. rap. Always little rap. I just like to hear myself. I put it in. Man, that's me on the on the radio. My mama let me drive to the store or something. You playing? I go you to the store playing myself. And that shit was cool to me, bro. And then my cousin Track Shine, she engineer, she engineer and produce me right now. She been playing the piano all her life. You feel me? Right, making beats. And, she had a studio probably, probably ten years ago. She had the, the set up, the mic, to go that shit. Yeah, I used to, we, I used to rap over there. You feel me? But I ain't never, I never looked at it as I was rapping. I was really just doing shit because I liked it to do it. You was having fun. Yeah, I was having fun. And like back then, I used to just rap. Like I ain't, I never used to write shit down or nothing. I used to just rap. And my cousin, they used to tell me like, bro. You got a gift, I ain't, I ain't look at it like that. Bro. Right. But Mike was rapping. When me and Mike met, Mike was rapping. Like, they used to go make songs and... Put them out and everything. Yeah, like, him and uh, Benji, Free Benji, too. Uh, they was RMC, Real Money Covers and shit. Right. And they used to... Well, I was rapping probably first, though, because I was rapping a long time ago. Right. right. I think I had stopped doing that shit for a minute or something. Cause so I, who, who put who on on that? The first song that y'all had go crazy. Who 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 reached out to? Who? He reached out to you, or he was like, "Bro, hop on this." Uh, I don't even remember. I think I think uh, somebody had a studio. One of them niggas had a studio. I think it was Benji Brother. He had a studio. In it. We was we, we used to be freestyling in the car and shit, just back and forth. So it's always been organic, for real. Yeah. All right, so dummy number two, how did that come about? Two? No, dummy number the first. The first one. Yeah. yeah. Everybody used to hear me. All the niggas, everybody who heard me and Mike used to be like, y'all niggas hard, like y'all niggas undefeatable together. Woo woo. Right. So we like, bitch, let's drop a tape. Honestly, before you, before I, I, I gotta cut you up, cause you and E. Oh yeah, y'all was going crazy too. Oh, yeah. that, that's when I'm like, that's when I'm like, 
back then when I first heard y'all, bro, when I first, first, on some real shit, just heard y'all, I like, man, who the fuck is this? Is these niggas? And then they're like, oh, he ain't got no social media for real. Yeah. And I was, I'm heavy on Instagram, so I'm like, you ain't got no Instagram, I don't want to hear him for real. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. So then, boom, all right, y'all, everybody tell me y'all, y'all go crazy together, then what? Uh, we like, shit, let's drop a tape, you feel me? This was uh, after I did my first tape. You're right. Come on, shit, we got it. Cause my shit, my first tape test was already with some songs I had already did. You feel oh, me? You when I got out of jail, I'm like, I'm finna put this shit out the right way. All right. So me and Mike, I'm like, bitch, we gotta drop a tape. That's out the question. Right. Like, the, the Everybody wants. Like when I let Peasy hear that Lucy Nightmares, he like this. Like you and this nigga got a rap, bro. He like he like the mic. Like he he liked the everybody, but he like you and this nigga. Like y'all, it's y'all crazy. Want. So I'm like, bitch, let's do a tape. We was gonna name the bitch Kid and Play, man. I'm happy, like, it's, it's crazy how shit work. We was gonna name it Kid and Play. Oh, the house party shit. Yeah, Peasy, we told Peasy about the idea. You know, y'all niggas too hard for that, bro. That's too simple. So we got the, we went back to the drum board. Like, Damn, what can we call this shit? We ain't even had no song yet for the tape. My cousin, like, man, y'all niggas gotta call that shit Dumb and Dumber, because y'all niggas, Dumb. Yeah, like before the dumb and dumber idea, when we let a nigga hear a son, we on the first thing they say is y'all niggas dumb. dumb as hell. I mean, y'all right. niggas retarded. That's, y'all. A, that's some dumb ass shit. And niggas, like when you hear our music, you gonna laugh, bro. You got to. You gonna laugh first. Then you gonna listen back and be like, like that's hey, what really hard. So I'm like, that shit don't even make sense. That shit like chemistry. It's like chemistry, bro. We did dumb and dumber, nigga. We came up with the idea. I had my nigga Keontae. Shout out Keontae. Go get a video shot by my nigga. Shout out Keontae. He made the cover for the first number and number. I, I found out. I'm like, we going to do it like they did. Right. We're going to put some words, some lyrics that we had on our shirt. Crazy ass shit. Some crazy shit. We ain't even had the songs, though, nigga. We had the cover. We, went, we hit the booth, nigga. Three days, four days, we got that shit done. Mm. Damn. Drop that shit. Like, we ain't even go take it to get it mixed and mastered the whole full. Right. We ain't put no money in behind that shit on the real, bro. Right. We just my cousin put her mix on it and we dropped that shit. Bro, that's crazy. So one thing. I know you saw the uh Dolph and Key Glock. I know somebody showed you that. Yeah, I, man, my fans was tripping, bro. They I was DMing Dolph and shit. They was? Man, a nigga DM Dolph a voice message, bro, like threatening me his life, man. Damn over that, man. I'm talking about Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. That shit got me like five thousand followers, bro. Cause everybody, everybody, like you, like a hundred people was tagging me in the post that Dolph when he posted this cover on his page. There's so many people tagged me under that bitch. Right. My shit just got to slap it. They like, bro, I ain't listening to Dolph no more. Fuck this nigga. Oh, ooh. like they going crazy. I'm like, man, it was funny to me. I look at it, bro. You know that's he. Yeah, that too. But it's like. That shit helped us. It, it ain't hurt us in no kind of way. Right. Because Dolph, Dolph, you feel me? Right. He banged right. anyway. Right. Him doing that made more people look at us like, damn, they did this shit first. So you like, shout out to Dolph on the love. Shout out to Dolph, man. Yeah. I ain't mad at the nigga. Bro. That's real shit. That's real, real shit. shit. So, that helped me. So once y'all did that, is that what initiated Dumb and Dumber 2? Like, since they stole it and they got us all these fans, we got to just. Not really, because when we, uh, Second week after we dropped the first Dumb and Dumber, we like, we got to do it, too. Because I seen, like, niggas calling me, like, bro, now this shit? Like, they tripping. Like, we right. from Cali, a, a, a little record label called us trying to give us 30 mans for an <laughs> EP. Because <laughs> the, they like, bro, y'all so hard together. Woo-woo. I'm like, this showing me how hard this shit is. So, it's harder than 30 bands, though. Yeah, I mean, we ain't take that shit. But it was like, we got to drop a part two. We had that in mind before the Dolph shit, even before we dropped this CD. Right. Then he dropped it. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's time. Like, we got to now. Like, you feel me? We, we, we ain't created because we got it off a movie, but right. we the real dumb and dumber nigga. Because I, I ain't going to lie, I listened to Dolph and them CD. I, it wasn't funny. It wasn't. They was rapping regular. They could have named that bitch Dolph and Glock. They could have named that bitch. Been anything, but that dumb and dumber didn't fit it because it wasn't funny, bro. Right. So... I'm like, yeah, we doing this too. We dropped that bitch same way. We got the, we ain't even had a cover. Matter of fact, we made the songs. Probably about two weeks we made the songs because we, we 
we did like 20, 30 songs and just picked through them. Put, we put, I think, 14, 15 songs on that bitch. My nigga did the cover. The cover, like, better. Like, the first cover was just like some regular shit. Regular shit, shit. y'all took it Second, up or not? Yeah, we took it up or not. Most definitely. You got to. All about elevating. And that bitch going crazy right now, nigga. That bitch still on Apple Church. It's been on Apple Church for seven days, eight days now. You know what I'm saying? Go stream that bitch right bitch now. still streaming crazy right now. It's probably going to... Nigga told me he going to listen to that for the next five years. A fan told me that. Damn. Damn. I believe him. Yeah. And that's life, man. We got so much shit. How many streams you think you hit all together? Like, with every platform? Every platform. Probably about nine million. That's nuts, bro. Nine million, cause I got a solid six million just on Apple Music. Six million on Apple Music since April. You feel me? I, my first shit went on the streaming site in April. Damn. And then YouTube. I don't know what the fuck Spotify doing. <laughs> uh, my shit on Title, Napster, everything, bro. Google Play, everything you can listen to music on down there. So. You know what I'm nice, saying? Bro. So it's about 10 million, if not more. You've been working for sure. That's one thing a nigga can't say about you. Oh, yeah. You know how I, I feel about it, bro. I ain't working enough, bro. I still feel like I'm slacking somewhere. Still feel like that? Yeah, bro. I ain't, this shit ain't enough, bro. That's, I'm glad that you say that. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I, I appreciate all the love, all the. Most definitely. But I'm, I'm, I'm not satisfied with this shit. I feel like I can you go can't be 10 times harder. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Push it's, it to just the, the, it's just the beginning. Push bro. that shit to the limit. Bro. I ain't my toe in the bag. I ain't jumped in the bag. Yet. So you ain't nowhere near the waist. No, I ain't nowhere near the waist, man. That's nuts, this bro. This shit on the flow. A nigga like me, proud of you, bro. 100. I appreciate real it. Shit. Shit, bro. For real. Bro. A nigga like you. Damn, you got dogs on you like that? Oh, yeah, I got some white shit on me. This very day, pink. I gotta walk around with this, man. You gotta walk around with that? Yeah, a little I'm 15 gonna, piece. Let me see. I ain't never held 15,000 in my life. Bro. That's a rap thing, <laughs> too, bro. It's all rap. That's all, all rap, rap money, bro. I swear to God. Hey, my nigga Rio got 15,000 in all rap money. That's, that's life, bro. I swear to God. Hey, look. It's not Empire. Empire ain't cut the check. They ain't even printed that check yet. No, it ain't even printed. Why they got 15,000 in all rap money, man? What time? Right, bro, bro. I'm telling you the deal, yeah, bro. bro. You my nigga. That's why the niggas. Like niggas, I be seeing the people be showing me niggas hiring on our Facebook. Like you don't care about that? No, I don't care about it. What I be trying to say, bro, I ain't got the most money in Flint, bro. No, I ain't the hardest nigga in Flint, bro. I don't know about that. But listen, who made who made some real rap money out this shit in Flint, bro? I ain't talking about the niggas trying to transfer <laughs> transfer the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, clean up. I'm talking about where the rap paper, bro. Because that, that showed me how that showed me what's going on. I know I have a dime when I got out of jail. I know I was only feeling. locked up for 21 days, but nigga, I ain't have a dime, bro. I know the feeling. Bro. I ain't know what I was gonna do because I couldn't go back to the streets. I but you knew you had to do something. I gotta do that's something. That's what made me do all this shit, bro. All this shit, the cheesecake shit, bro. Do I'll, that shit, bro. I, I seen you want you one. Yeah, I seen that. You only like cheesecake real. Hell yeah, I, I you eat don't. Oreo ones. Why you ain't hit me up? I wasn't even thinking, bro. Oh, I ain't gonna shit, man. I just ate some Oreos and shit, man. Look, know. he in the back talking about the shortcake. Y'all niggas, bro. Why y'all niggas ain't hitting me up? Man, come on. I ain't nothing, bro. You gotta get an order of them bitches going on. I, I think, think I need. I think we I'm, we gonna have to make our own little cheesecake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah we're gonna yeah. have to collab on some shit. I love cheesecake. And dumber, bro. dumber. That's I don't eat all that extra shit, but I eat the, the, the strawberry one. And the Oreo, bitch, I eat. Yeah. I got you. I'm gonna yeah, eat sweets buddy. probably more than I eat regular food. I'm gonna call that bitch the Rio Grande. It's gonna be yeah. whatever flavor. Yeah. Man, look, bro. Rio so Grande cheesecake coming soon. We're gonna buy some shit. We have strawberry short, che shortcake cheesecake in an Oreo and mix. The last you know, name, bro. Crazy shit. That's, bro, you really a real nigga. That's yeah, about real OG shit, bro. We gotta get yeah. off this bitch. Rio Rio cheesecakes. Yeah. Bro, you got 15,000 rap money on you right now. That's fucking my head up, bro. I ain't no cap. That's fucking all of it. That's some. That's, that's what I'm knowing, though. Know. Ain't nothing they got up on the right, man. Look, you ain't got to. I know. That's YouTube, funny. I know. Rio, the young OG. This nigga really the young OG. You doing your thing, bro. I, I commend you, you know what I'm saying? I had some. I ain't like you just fucked me up with that. I had this <laughs> one more other thing. I had. It's, we, we for sure got to do a part two. Yeah, we got to do a part two. I, pre yeah, I appreciate it. You gotta get my nigga Mike in this bitch. Oh yeah, I hit bro look. I have been hollering to Mike too. Mike, hit me up. 
We can set that shit up, knock that shit out. Set, Mike, you get your ass in here and let's Get your ass you in here. We're gonna do we gonna do it right here too. Yeah. Fuck it. Mike, come it's on. on the flow. It's on the flow, like a rug, nigga. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you, my nigga. I gotta get we gotta get flipped out this bitch. We bro. most definitely do. Let's give these niggas some motivation or something, bro. They gotta see something. Get y'all some of this, nigga. Get y'all some of that fifty dollars. Don't sell drugs. Yes, sir. Let me go one time. Yeah, don't sell drugs. Don't sell drugs. Go rap, bro. Rap like Rio. (laughs) Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Leave a comment. I'm doing a t-shirt giveaway. T-shirt giveaway. I'm gonna let them. We go. I'm gonna put on the floor right now. I'm gonna do a t-shirt giveaway. Um, I'm picking five Flint brands. Yeah. No, I'm picking. Matter of fact, I'm picking five Flint brands, and I'm gonna do the wealthy. Shout out to the wealthy niggas. Yeah, shout out my nigga Cuddy B. Shout out Cuddy B. Shout yeah. out boy Jesus. Shout out y'all, my niggas. You feel me? We linked up yesterday, knocked that out. So I'm gonna put them a part of it. You know what I'm saying? For them, even embracing me. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm picking five uh, five Flint brands. The, the five I'm pick is uh Grind twenty four seven. Shout out Dustin. I'm gonna do a calm shirt. You gotta do my niggas wallet chasing chicken. Chasing chicken. Yeah. Um. Uh, what's the one downtown? Uh, Bed Rock. Bed Rock shirt. And, um, the fifth one, I'm, I'm blow. This nigga blew my mind, so I, I'm, I'm forget. I'm forget. There's one more brand out there, though. You feel me? And, and once I get to a thousand subscribers, that's what I'm gonna do the giveaway. Yeah. Go get that man and his subscribers right now. But all you gotta do is post you on my page. You finna get Bro, you gotta follow me back. Listen, I, I, th- I thought I did. You did. I'll be doing so much, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you back right now. I'm finna make my people go get to your shit. You might have a thousand subscribers. By the end of the night, no yeah, cap. You got it, baby. They listen to what Big Reese say, man. You, you know got 15,000 on them. I know you can yeah. give me a dollar for every subscriber. Yeah. Fuck it. I need yeah. 15K. I need 15K on Rio. Yeah. Man, we finna fuck this bitch up. We finna take off. My nigga doing this thing. Yeah. Make sure y'all do your thing. Like, leave a like. Like this video. Subscribe. And leave a comment on what brand you want. Yeah. And your uh, t-shirt size. Yeah. 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 I appreciate you, my nigga. Yeah. You know it's boys for life. Free big free pink. ghetto. It's fifteen dollars oh, right money. Free ghetto, you know what I'm right. saying? Free oil change and look on you. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you mind if I borrow this right quick and go grab a track car? Good, bro. That ain't enough though. You gonna put a, a payment on that? Yeah. Bitch, a hundred thousand. This ain't a hundred thousand. Yeah. That bitch ain't. That bitch ninety. We can get you one for that. We can we could. Try to call Track car coming soon too, nigga. Too, I went to Amy, so I gotta get a heart. You hear me? Yeah. I can rap for real, bro. Man, go do that shit. Fuck, you gonna drop a song. Yeah. Fuck, it, it's the Great One Up Show. This is live and direct as it get. Right from, right, we right here with it. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate my nigga Rio coming on. Y'all hit that subscribe button. We out. It's on.